Hi, my name's Johnny Hall, otherwise known as JJ Hall Tattoo, and I'm the first artist in the world to specialise in realistic UV tattoos, otherwise known as UVism. I started my tattoo apprenticeship in August 2015, but as most tattooists know, when you start an apprenticeship, the first six months, it's, it's been a general dog's body. So you, you know, you're sweeping the floors, making cups of tea, cups of coffee. So I'd say I started tattooing, it was early 2016. And I've been doing UVism tattoos for just over two years now. So UV tattoos are definitely different to glow-in-the-dark tattoos. Glow-in-the-dark tattoos contain something called phosphorescent, which definitely isn't meant for human consumption. And there's a huge misconception that people think this is the same thing. So UV tattoos uh, actually contain fluorescence. Uh, and in layman's terms, it just means that they're UV reactive. So when the atoms in the UV ink are exposed under a black light causing iridation, uh, they charge up uh, and that's what emits the, the, the mad looking glow that's becoming so popular in tattoos. Uh, so yeah, just to clarify, glow in the dark tattoos and UV tattoos are not the same thing. So most of the time when my clients reach out to me, they have a pretty specific idea of what kind of tattoo they'd like to get uh, and it does often you know, revolve around the UV. You know, sometimes you know, certain ideas might not transfer over as, as a tattoo. For instance, you know, if somebody wants me to put neon yellow UV into the, the nan's eyes that's just passed away last week, it might not really make sense as a tattoo. So it's just a refining process, really. The process of tattooing uh, is, is very similar as to when an artist will use white ink. So uh, I'll do the, the usual black and gray tattoo. Uh, and then once that's completely finished, I'll put in the UV uh, at the end, uh, just in the parts that really need it. Uh, the reason why I put in the UV at the end and the reason why realism artists will put in white ink at the end is because you don't want to muddy the ink with the black ink. So once the black ink's completely saturated into the skin, make sure the surface area uh, is, is clean. Uh, and then the UV ink or the white ink goes in. UV tattoos will fade, uh, so will black ink tattoos. So it's, it's just uh, you know, a simple truth of life that they all fade. Uh, there are different factors uh, that contribute to the longevity of a, of a UV tattoo. Uh, how well you look after it uh, in the healing process, skin type, uh, you know, how well you keep it out of the sun because sun is a huge killer of tattoos. Uh, another huge factor uh, is the actual brand of ink uh, and I found that through trial and error. So you, you've got to kiss a lot of frogs really haven't you to, to find the right one and, and I found my brand of ink that I'm very happy with and, I, and I've been happy with for a long time. Honestly it's just so new, it's new and fun. And I think as an artist, at the very core of being a creator in any capacity of creating, it's about pushing boundaries and trying new things. Uh, and I don't profess to be the first artist in the world to use UV because it has been around for a while, but I'm the first artist to specialize in realism UV tattoos. And for me, that gives me pure excitement every single day that I'm trying new techniques, I'm, I'm, I'm trying new designs and honestly probably the, the best thing about the whole job is when I do get the client to hold the torch for me and they see the UV going in and the look on their faces, it, it's probably not very professional but I, I've got to put my machine down because I'm just laughing so hard sometimes and, and I think I'll be laughing for a long time because I just love doing it and, and the amount of clients that have messaged me you know, after the, the tattoos half healed and you know, they, they said they couldn't be happy with it. Uh, it might sound cheesy, but that, that's better than any kind of tip you can get in regards to monetary terms. <laughs>